Hey guys, it's Anthony with The Rag Company and welcome to a highly requested dilution video. Now we receive a ton of questions about dilution of detailing chemicals. And I understand because it can be extremely confusing when you have soaps, wheel cleaners, APCs, and all sorts of other chemicals that come as a concentrate. How the heck do you get that concentrate into a usable bottle mixed with water to where it is ready to use for your detailing needs? So we're going to run through some simple stuff today just to hopefully make things a little bit easier for you to understand and that you can start practicing for yourself at home to better understand concentrates as well as dilutions. Now, why would you need to dilute a product? mainly because it comes in a concentrated form. It's a very strong form that needs to be diluted with water. And then you're also gonna need some form of concentrate. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna be using Breakbuster as my example. Breakbuster isn't necessarily concentrated, it is ready to use, but it can absolutely be diluted. So we're gonna be using this, and I also have a little bit of O&R here as an example as well. Now, when you're diluting chemicals, you're often going to have um, a vessel or a sprayer that you're gonna be putting these products into. So for example, I have the IK 1.5 foamer here. I have the IK Foam Pro 2, and I literally have a wall of IK trigger sprayers behind me right here that people love to use um, and people love to dilute products into these as well. All right, so we're gonna start with ounces first just for all of us uh, Americans out there, uh, but then we'll jump over to milliliters to help uh, everybody else around the world understand as well. So taking a standard dilution of let's just say three to one, right? Let's go three parts water to one part product. Understand that the one, the smaller number in every single dilution is always going to be your concentrate, right? You're never gonna have a three parts uh, product to one part water that doesn't make any sense, right? So your lower number is always going to be your product that you're gonna be diluting. So what we have is three to one, which is four parts total. Now the best way to understand this is what is something that is divisible by four? We're gonna go with 32. This sprayer right here happens to have a capacity of 35 ounces. So we're gonna be going down just a little bit below its capacity to 32. So 32 divided by four is eight. Now taking 32 and subtracting eight from that is going to give us 24. So eight ounces of product, 24 ounces of water here. All right, so we have a 35 ounce bottle. Again, we're gonna be going below that. We're gonna be going to that delicious 32 ounce, that nice divisible number. And we're gonna be looking here, we're gonna be looking at our measurements. Unfortunately, I don't have an eight ounce hash mark on here, right? Well, that sucks, right? How is somebody like me gonna be able to figure this out? Well, I see a 15 ounce hash mark. So let's just say eight ounces is probably somewhere in the middle there, right? We're gonna take our brake buster. We're gonna pour this in. And that looks, looks about right to me, right? So we have eight ounces of Brake Buster, which means we have 24 ounces of water left to fill this thing up with to get us to that 32 ounce mark, giving us our three to one dilution. So taking this and we're gonna go up to right below that 35 ounce hash mark. There we go. We've done it. A three to one dilution for PNS Brake Buster in IK 1.5. So that's ounces. Now what about milliliters, Anthony? For everybody else around the world, how do you do milliliters? So we're gonna take this IK Foam Pro 2 here and we are going to do um, another very, very simple dilution, right? So we're gonna do uh, three to one again. We're gonna do three to one, but in terms of milliliters. So we have four parts total and I happen to have about a thousand milliliters of water left here, but we're gonna go three to one on 800 milliliters. 800 divided by four is 200 milliliters. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take 200 milliliters of product to 600 milliliters of water, three to one. So how this is gonna work, I'm gonna take this right here, take our brake buster, and we are going to start filling this thing up right to that 200 milliliter line. Now is everybody going to have some type of uh, Koch Kemi measuring device at their house? Probably not. But chances are you probably have a measuring cup or something in your cupboard at home that you can take and use. So 200 milliliters of product inside here. We're gonna go add 600 milliliters of water to get us up to that 800 milliliters, which would be our three to one dilution. So going ahead and adding our water. Bam. And then from there, pouring this into our sprayer.
Perfect. Three to one in ounces and three to one in milliliters. Again, don't overly complicate things. Try to go to a nice, even, round number, right? We are detailers, we are not mathematicians, we are not scientists. Let's make this stuff simple for ourselves and very easy to follow. Now, when it comes to something like O and R, right? O and R was designed to be as easy as possible to use with a 256 to one dilution. Now, how this works is literally this cap right here is half an ounce. That's what this is right here. And you're going to pour half an ounce into here and pour that into, let's just pretend that this was a gallon, right? If this was a gallon of water, I'm gonna pour that half an ounce into there, giving us our perfect 256 to one dilution. So O and R is extremely simple. So basically one capful for every gallon of water and you're done. I'll tell you right now, not all the chemicals that we sell here at the Rag Company are complicated. They're not. They're easy to use stuff. So sometimes it's nice to have a breath of fresh air with a video like this to see that it's actually much simpler than what you think. Hopefully this has been helpful in understanding dilutions in both ounces and milliliters for diluting chemicals for maybe your sprayers, your foamers, whatever else you might be using. So as always, if you guys like this video and want to see more, uh, chemistry and, and math by Anthony, make sure to give us a big thumbs up, subscribe down below for more and stay tuned for more videos right here at The Rag Company.